Hello friends, this video on integers part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. Find the product using suitable properties. Minus 57 into minus 19 plus 57. Now this thing can be written as minus 57 into minus 19 plus 57 into 1. You can write this like this because 57 into 1 is 57. So 57 can be written as 57 into 1. By looking at this, do you remember any property? Yes, of course. It reminds us of the distributive property. So as per the distributive property, A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. So right now we have it in the format A into B plus A into C. Right? So we have it in that format more or less. So what do we do? We can write it as something like this. We can write it as A into B plus C. What is C? C is nothing but 1. Now you might be wondering where did the negative sign go? That's because this is negative, this is also negative. So negative, negative will be, become positive. So whenever you multiply two negative numbers, the sign of the product is always positive. So we have ignored the negative signs. So from this, what you can say, this would be equal to 57 into 20. Now multiplying this is easy. You have a zero, so you put a zero straight forward. Now 57 into 2. So this is 1140. So you see by making use of properties, we can simplify the calculations. Question number 5. In a class test containing 10 questions, 5 marks are awarded for every correct answer and minus 2 marks are awarded for every incorrect answer and 0 for questions not attempted. Mohan gets 4 correct and 6 incorrect answers. What is his score? Okay, so as far as Mohan's score is concerned, he has given four correct answers. So for four correct answers, what would be his score? So five marks are awarded for every correct answer. So for four correct answer, his score would be four into five. For six incorrect answers, what would be his score? For every incorrect answer, two marks are deducted. So six into minus two because these marks are deducted. Therefore, the total score of Mohan would be 4 into 5, that is the correct answer score plus the incorrect answer score. So this would be 20 minus 12, which is equal to 8. Therefore, Mohan's score would be 8. So let us look at the second part where it says that Reshma gives 5 correct and 5 incorrect answers. So for 5 correct answers, the score would be 5 into 5 and for 5 incorrect answers. The score would be 5 into minus 2. Therefore, the total score of Reshma would be 5 into 5 that is correct answers plus 5 into minus 2 that is incorrect answers. So, this would be 25 minus 10 which is equal to 15. Similarly, in the third case, we see that Hina gave two correct answers, five incorrect and seven did not attempt. So that means for two correct answers, the score would be two into five. For five incorrect answer, the score would be 5 into minus 2 and for 7 questions which were non, not attempted, the score would be 7 into 0. Therefore, the total score would be 2 into 5 that is the correct answers plus 5 into minus 2 that is incorrect answers plus 7 into 0. So, this would be equal to 10 minus 10 plus 0. So, this is equal to 0. So, the net score of Hina would be 0. Question number 6. A certain freezing process requires that room temperature be lowered from 40 degrees Celsius at the rate of 5 degrees Celsius every hour. 
so that means the room temperature currently is 40 degrees celsius and we want the room temperature to decrease so what will be the room temperature 10 hours after the process begins so after 10 hours what would be the temperature when the temperature is decreasing at the rate of 5 degrees celsius every hour so after every one hour the temperature reduces by my 5 degrees celsius again after one hour 5 degrees celsius again after 5 hour minus 5 degree so that is how it is reducing and what should be the temperature at the end of 10 hours so that means in one hour what is the decrease in one hour the decrease is 5 degrees celsius therefore in 10 hours what would be the decrease? The decrease would be 5 into 10 degrees Celsius. Right? So, therefore, what would be the final temperature? So, the final temperature would be 40 degrees Celsius because this much temperature will decrease. And what is the current temperature? Current temperature is 40. So, the final temperature would be 40 minus 5 into 10 right so this would be 40 degree minus 50 degree which is equal to minus 10 degree celsius because this much would be this 5 into 10 which is equal to 50 degree celsius 50 degree celsius would be the total decrease in temperature this much the temperature will decrease so what would be the final temperature 40 that is the initial value minus whatever has decreased that is 50 so 40 minus 50 would be the final temperature Replace the blank with an integer to make it a true statement. Minus 3 into dash is equal to 27. So you see this is negative but the product is positive. That means this should also be negative. Only then the product would be positive. So 3 into 9 is 27. In this case this is positive and this is negative. That means this has to be negative. And 5 into 7 is 35. So this would be minus 7. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.